Welcome to this Stiegel video demonstrating how you can use collapsible groups in new Google Sites. It's very easy to insert a collapsible group in the Insert panel on the right hand side of the editor. At the top of the list of items you can choose Collapsible Group. This will add one to the page. There are two portions to a default collapsible group. The top is the bit that's always visible. And beneath is the expandable area that you can expand. These groups you can resize the width of, the height is determined by the amount of content. And you can place these items side by side by simply copying and pasting or inserting more. You can preview to see how they work. You can add images also to a collapsible. So first you need to insert an image. And once you have your image, you can do two things. One is you can click and drag and add it to an exi existing collapsible. And then when you preview, you'll see that is available when you expand that collapsible. Alternatively, you can start with the image at the top instead. So if we take this image, we can paste a new version of the image. And then as we add text items beneath, we can add a new text item. And we can group this vertically with the image. Once they are grouped vertically, you have the option to turn on to be a collapsible. And you can preview to see how that works. As you can see, the image is there with a collapsible chevron, which you can use to expand. As you can see from our preview, the collapsibles can have all kinds of different formatting within the text inside. Here we have some bold and links. But what you cannot do is you cannot group together items from Drive, for instance a form, and have that as collapsible. If you take an existing collapsible and vertically group it, with another, those extra bits you have just grouped together just become part of the expandable area. We hope you found this useful and thanks for watching and you can see some more new Google Sites videos at stiegel.com.